Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with a beautiful English lemon posset. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making a lemon posset, which is an old English dessert, basically using lemons, cream, double cream in the States, that'd be heavy cream, and a bit of sugar. It's incredibly simple, there's very little work to be done, and uh, I just, I know you're going to love this one. So before juicing a lemon, it's good to give it a good roll like that, because it gets it all soft and it's much easier to get the juice out, to say the difference, that one hasn't been squeezed yet, and one was my... <laughs> Stop it, I know what you're thinking. Anyway, uh, so yes, roll it around first, but then we're going to get the zest off, and I'm not very good with that technique, so I just sort of hold my microplane that way, and however you want to do it, but just um, don't go backwards and forwards on the same spot for too long, because the, um, the white bit isn't very nice. Anyway, so juicing... You can do it the traditional way, with just with hands. I like one of those things, like they're dead cheap. It really gets the most of the juice out. Or if you haven't got one of them, you'll have one of them fork things. I mean, everyone's got one of them, surely. But yeah, get it all out. And I'll have a quick word with you. Hi, if you're here because of the recent boost my channel's had from the bread and butter pudding video, which is really old, thank you so much and very, very welcome here. Please do, though, take time to watch some of the other videos that I've made, hundreds in fact, that YouTube doesn't recommend very much. And um, yeah, and like and comment and all that sort of stuff because it would really help my channel to grow and I'd be so grateful to you. Thank you. Yeah, had a ton of views lately and hopefully it carries on like that. Anyway, so just measuring out from this recipe, the juice and the cream was... A set amount obviously that recipe will be in the description below there goes the zest so I've got the cream the sugar and the zest let's get that on the stove and we're holding the juice back for a little while so get it on one of these rubber spatulas is ideal because you get it to really scrape the sides so you don't get that burnt bit of cream on the sides so just take care of this have it sort of gently simmering and stirring every now and again five minutes that sort of thickens up the cream it evaporates a lot of the extra water in it and then go in with the lemon but you're going to keep it on the heat for another few minutes i put three minutes on this one but i was sort of standing over it and i was looking after it and i i turned mine up a little bit so it was a little bit more than a gentle simmer uh, if you want to do it a bit more slowly give it another five to six minutes but it's going to basically coagulate i don't know if that's the right word but you can see here it's getting thicker sort of getting a bit more yellowy and anyway that was the time up happy with that uh, I like to put mine into a jug before going into a mold and which mold a teeny glass a ramekin even a big bowl like that but I went for a tumbler basically I think that's what you'd call a tumbler and just sort of carefully measure it out this recipe was ideal for three is very rich even though it's sort of sharp and tangy it is a very rich it's cream after all so I don't go all the way to the top there and if you want to get rid of bubbles that's a good little technique and then get them in the fridge and you can do this a couple of days ahead or you know a couple of hours ahead it's fine and i just thought i'd quickly show you uh, an optional little garnish which i thought was nice kind of like a, a mixed berry salad if you like so got some lovely somerset strawberries blueberries and raspberries that is a bit of red wine vinegar believe it or not and a bit of sugar and it gives that lovely little sort of sweet and sour edge that's some mint that i shredded up there give that a little stir around and then let it steep and then I thought oh no oh, I don't remember black pepper is also really really nice with strawberries so I sort of did that about half an hour before serving you can see now after just a couple of hours in the fridge it's completely set I'm just going to pile up these berries on top I mean we're just about to serve now so uh, final touch maybe a little icing sugar to make it look all snazzy and uh, yeah dive in and enjoy and I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. So, yes, lemon posset with a lovely little mixture of berries. For me, it's just the right amount of like tang and sweetness and richness. Um, really, really lovely. Very nice with some biscuits, some shortbread biscuit or something like that. Anyway, um, I do hope you give that a try. Um, I think you really like it and I say anyone new here or if you're watching I've had a little bit of a boost recently with my channel but to keep that going it'd be really good if people can like and comment and share and things like that on, on not just one video I have on any videos you watch I'd really appreciate it and uh, yeah, that's that thank you ever so much and I'm just gonna finish this off then see ya bye